Good morning and welcome to today's class. Uh, what we are going to do today is uh, programming, and we we make use of the syllables of uh, Wayek. You understand? Make use of the syllable of Wayek to work. So we are doing the programming language called Basic. You still remember Basic now? Yes, sir. Yeah, Basic. That's a uh, Beginners or purpose symbolic instruction code. That's the full meaning of this basic. So it's a programming language, just like other programming languages. So that being said now, just like when we are treating scratch, this is the full meaning now. Beginners or purpose uh, symbolic instruction code. Just like when we are doing scratch, if you remember, scratch is a visual programming language such that we make use of blocks. You understand? We make use of blocks to program. But in this one now, since we are in the higher class, we are no longer making use of blocks. We are making use of text. And this, if you go to the field, this is somewhat, this is what we are going to see. So what are the elements of this? The element of this, uh, of this, of this uh, programming language, just like when we talk of Scratch, which is uh, only visual blocks, scripts, and programming pilots. But in this place now, we are making use of Alphabet, numbers, and symbolic and, and special characters. You know what we mean by special characters? Like uh, equals to uh, slash and the rest of them. So that being said, then we have a, we have a, what we call statement. Statement. That means remember we, are, we have to rush this. Thing. Statement simply means the basic specific keywords. That make that helps the that gives the the that whenever you call this any of these statements, it has a specific what instruction. For instance, now if you come to scratch now, I will tell you it's, it's, it's a sprite to move. A move is, is like is just like a statement. Whenever you, you implement move, that means the sprite will move, isn't it? So also now what you are going to this to this place, these are the few ones we will we'll look into today. The first one is print. Then the second one, print simply means display something from the word print in display. Y end means end the whole program. Let means if you want to introduce a variable, then input. If you want to, if you require the user to input a data. And uh, this REM means remark. Remark is for commenting. When, when I mean comment, that means if you are running a program and you want to describe, remember, remember when you become, when you start writing a program, the program becomes complex. You might decide to remark somewhere that this is what I did here. You understand? So, but if you, if you write it, ideally, whenever you write something inside the, the, the inside your text editor, the computer is meant to run it. If it doesn't make sense, it will flag error and the whole of the thing will not work. But when you make use of this thing, you can write anything you want to write, just to refresh your your memory whenever you want to access the code again. But what happened is that this REM, which is remark, the computer does not know what, does not interpret it when it's running the code. So then, then when you talk of stop, if you want to stop a, a particular execution of the program, so if this is <laughs> If this is looks like uh, what is it called? Whatever mind. So well, let's try now. Let's go to the text. Yes, uh, for you to run a program, you need what you call text editor. Text editor. An example of text editor that comes with every default window. Window operating system is Notepad. We all know Notepad now. It's an example of a text editor. Then we also have other text editor. Like if you look at my my system, I look at the one I'm making use of. I'm making use of what uh, VS Code. VS Code. This is what I'm making use of. We also have Notepad plus plus. Do you get it now? We have Notepad plus plus. This is an this is an editor. Can you see an example of a script as of a, But this one is not. This one is PHP. Do you understand? Then we have other text editor. Then Remember when I what I taught you about high level languages? This is an example of a high level language because it's relatively 
it's relatively uh, like human language. You know, print is print now. Nah? If I tell you, you should print. Common sense will tell you that it's to show something. Then, but we must need an interpreter and a compiler. You understand? That means if I don't install an interpreter and a compiler in my system, in any computer or any device I want to make use of, write this program. In any device I want to write the program. To, that means that the program will not run. The computer will not understand it. Remember what the computer understands is zeros and one, isn't it? So we need an interpreter. So for the purpose of this class now, I don't have an interpreter. We we'll use what we call an online, uh, an online uh, editor, online compiler. You understand it now? That means I will go to someone's website. What that website? That website have a, a place where I will just write code and run it, and I will see it. You understand it now? So that's just the thing. I will probably send the link to your so that you can even try it with your phone, sir. You know, or should I even send it now? So you can even be trying it okay, with your phone. So that being said, now. Uh, this is this. If you look, are you seeing where this thing now is the URL? But well, let me let me go over to here. All right, all right, all right. So, can we see this? You can see it comfortably now, right? Don't mind this ad though. This thing is because the software is free. That's why this is, is popping ad. So now the first statement we are looking at the board is print. Print hello. That means whenever I run this program, I'll simply tell the computer, please display the word hello, hello for us. So let's see what. Let's execute this program and see what happens. Can you see now the result? Are you seeing it now? Uh, so that is it. So that means that just like we make use of our calculator, we make use of our calculator. This we can simply make use of a code, a programming language as a calculator. So that is it. If you remember uh, when we are doing uh, types of languages, we did for for scientific, isn't it? If you remember, we have scientific uh, combo. When we treat a uh, combo, so you know one is meant for scientific. When we have complex scientific equation, we have to program it. You understand it? So we we'll see it now. I think we, if we have time, we we'll, if we have time, we we'll even program maybe one equation, something like a quadratic equation. You understand? We we'll program quadratic equation so that whenever we put two numbers. To solve the quadratic equation for us, so that is it. So let's try it now. We can still use print now, print, and tell the computer, please calculate seven signs. So if I execute this program now, if I execute this program, see what will happen. The computer will print this, go to the next place, execute this one. So it will do what? Seven multiplied by. You already know that this is the sign for multiplication now. Okay, so, uh, this is the sign. Star is the sign for multiplication. Minus is minus. Plus is plus. So that is it. Then if I execute it now, if I say execute, have you seen it now? Have you seen it? It has executed. It has simply what? Executed seven multiplied by six. Are you getting it? So now, all these statements, you know, in WAEC, you'll be asked to write a code. We will look for a WAEC question. You will ask to write a code in your book, in your theory. You understand it now? So, what they will be targeting is how, how do you make use of uh, this statement? This statement, just know the statement is very simple. We'll solve a WAEC question. Then, if I put end now, let me put end and execute this thing now. <coughs> Have you seen what happened now? Have you seen what happened? What happened is that the computer at this point, what did he do? He printed this. And the next place is supposed to print. The next statement is supposed to execute. We only told him, end. 
That means every other thing you are writing here yeah, is nonsense. You understand this now? So that's why it's not, that's where hacking comes in. Maybe see, if someone has access to your source code, you can simply go to the front place and put N. Everything that is written is nonsense. You understand the concept? So that is it. So have you appreciated the, the statement end? Yeah. Then, one other thing, please. That's what we call a strange and a strange and a, a, an integer. A, a strange is like a test. When you talk of strange, you call it test. Can you notice that hello, this prints hello world. That in between this thing now, there is a uh, invited comma, right? That invited comma, everything inside the invited comma is called world. Everything inside the invited world comma the computer is seeing it as a text. Are you getting it now? If I if I write print and I remove this thing, this thing will flag it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Print. Hello. Have you seen a flag there? Or? You see it now? Because what is it? Computer is expecting this thing to be a variable. You understand? He doesn't know what is it. He's seeing it as a, a variable. So that was why he flagged what error. So have to, if you must, if you want the computer to print a statement, any written text, you will call it what a strange in programming. That means you must put everything wanted to print inside an invited comma. Are you getting it? So, then, 